amazing Harry Potter Wizarding World Diagon Alley 3D puzzle to show you. Sent to us by University Games. In spot aged 8 plus, contains 273 pieces, and as you can see, it's incredibly detailed on the outside. But what makes this kit so special is that actually it's also so detailed on the inside because the, like the models have an open back. Which shows you a really detailed interior of all the shops. So let's see what we've got. I'm gonna open it up. Oh! Okay guys, so we have a massive instruction leaflet which is super handy. It's huge. It looks like a notebook. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. Look how complicated that looks. Guys, we have a complicated, beautifully coloured, helpful looking instruction leaflet. This looks very confusing. I see why this takes 240 minutes now. Ah. And we've also got a thick pile of foam board puzzle pieces which look amazing. Look how incredibly detailed they are. We found Ra, <laughs> by the way guys. She's vomiting up all the sweets. <laughs> I think these two are my personal favorites just because I like the candy shop kits all detailed and cute and I also like this one the because like you can see the little gloves and the Quidditch robes and the um, is I was about to call them horses, no I don't why. <laughs> and if you actually look, all of the um, characters are actually the actors from the films which I think is really cool so it's more realistic. And, but, and everything is so realistic because all the detail is like the stuff from the films and the books so you have like the insignia on the floor of the Gringotts Bank, or is that the ceiling? I'm pretty sure that's the floor. And just everything looks so the cool. The dragon amazing. looks really good. The details so cool. Oh, we've got Bellatrix the Strange, got all the little goblins. So we're gonna stop talking and start building. Because the box says that it takes 240 minutes, which is four hours to build the whole set. But don't worry, we're gonna speed it all up. So guys, this is the Gringotts Bank. We've now finished it. What do you think? We think it's absolutely amazing. The inside's absolutely incredible. Look at all the detail in there. You can see like the big vault at the back. And I think that's the vault. You can see the goblins. I personally really like the goblins. I think they're really funny. I like the dragon. That's the, the dragon. best bit. I want the his dragon. head to move. 
like up and down. I don't know. Sometimes you can get like oh, little wings. cardboard things. Don't move his wings or break him. I like the fact that he's on that like big glow thing at the top of that. Like he's in the books and the film. And it's on the front. No, the front. We're not doing the front yet. Here, the detail up here is so on cool. The bit. Like the cracked floor. I like that. And the flowers. The instructions are actually really like straightforward to follow. I thought it would be a lot more difficult, but it wasn't actually that hard. I I, I prefer the outside only because it looks so cool because you've got like the dragon's weight pushing down. So like everything's going a bit oh, wonky donkey. I also love the fact that you've got Bella tricks outside and like that little sign, like the little sign in the book. So Green got bang, the safety, the safest place for gold, jewels, magical artifacts. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> so now onto Ollivander's one shop. And this one is fabulous. This as well. one looks even better, in my opinion. It I, like I think it's really, really detailed. This one, like, look at all the stuff inside. You've got all the curtains, and you've got like a little ladder at the top. You've got all the doors. The door actually opens as well in this one. Yeah, you, you ready? can put the little door. Hello, right there. <laughs> Hello. That's the door as well. So you've got Harry at the back with Mr. Olivander. Harry seems to be trying out his wand, and then of course you've got all the ones. Scattered around on all the shelves, which looks pretty cool. I thought they were chocolate to start with, but they're not the ones. <laughs> all like little coloured like wrapper things. I love this one. There's even like a ladder, guys. Look up here. There's a ladder which I leads to the trap door. The only thing that I say is annoying about this because there's the ladder. I want there to actually be oh a trap gosh, door yeah. that we could like poke in, you know, so they like can come door. up, come up and walk around on the little top of the terrace. But I think that this is so cool. And of course, we have Hagrid at the front. This one was actually quite a bit harder than the first one because on this one it's much more fiddly because you have lots of you have lots more little bits and it's double layered. Yeah. So like the windows were really thiddly. But they both look so cool. Wait, turn them around together. Look at that. We're starting to see Diagon Alley coming so together. Cool. <laughs> okay, so now on to Weezy's Wizard Weezy's.
We see some wizard wheezes. And this is probably one of the best houses ever because look at this, it even has the lever like in the book and the film, the rabbit appears, the rabbit's gone, the rabbit's back, which is so cool. They've actually like in like included a little lever thing, which is so much fun. It's really fun to you know play with. It looks absolutely awesome. It's got like all the signs and you can look into the windows. Oh, the garage is really huge stunt. Nothing, but look, all the doors open. So that one opens that way. This one opens that way. Oh, this is so cool. And the inside is the best bit. It's so cool. Look at all those colours. I've forgotten what these things are called, but I've seen them in real life and they're adorable. They're like floofkins or something. I have no idea what they're called. They're so cute though. You've got all like the fireworks and the sweets and everything. And you've got Fred and George down below. That's so good. I want to eat everything in this. So this is all three of them. We actually opened the door for Gringotts Bank because we forgot to do that. And they look so good. We actually think they're getting a little bit harder because Gringotts Bank was quite easy. Then you've got all of Anna's one shop and that got a little bit harder because like you had to wrap all the windows around. And then we've got Weasley's Wizard Weezes, which was even more difficult. To be honest, I think this one was the hardest, which is really weird. I, I, I think this one okay-ish. I quite like these two. I, I don't know. know. Rot ends up doing the difficult stuff because I'm not very good at it. Yeah. Last one guys, we've got to finish off with quoted Quidditch supplies, so we're going to get done. finish the last one. This is quality Quidditch supplies and it is looking super cool. I love the purple colour on all the roofs. It's like a nice bluey purple and you can really see like the textured te te texture tiles. The best part though is inside and of course is this wonderful globe that I did make and then I had to remake because I made it wrong apparently I put America in the wrong place or something. It's very <laughs> confusing. So these doors open at the back which I love. This is my personal favourite by the way. I absolutely love this house. <laughs> see some clubs at the back and I think you can see a telescope at the back I think the one on the um, right is a telescope you can also see Harry's broom or one of his brooms whichever one that is he got a load so <laughs> and it, well, you can see Harry and Draco and where's Hermione Hermione is somewhere over here she's sort of hidden behind the, the desk which is a shame she should come forwards more <laughs> And then right at the top you have a little attic and Harry's broomstick, which we think is the Nimbus 2000 because it looks like the Nimbus 2000, not the Firefox thing. It's not called a Firefox, why did I say that? We've, there's also some telescopy or skilloscopy thingies, which I can't remember if they've got an actual name in the film and the books, but there they are. And then right up in the attic, at the very end of like the attic, there are four house flags. And a little window. So for each of the flags, and yeah, you can see me. Hey, here I am. Out in the window. And we're now going to create the whole Diagon Alley. Yes, here it comes. Turn it to my little, my little like window here. I love my little window here. I made this window, and I think it's really <laughs> cute. I just absolutely love it. So here are all our lovely houses that make up Diagon Alley or shops, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Diagon Alley is now complete with each of these four houses. You don't actually have to buy them all together in this like big set. You can actually buy them individually. So For like nine or ten pounds. pounds. 
It's quite hard to actually see it on camera, but it's got an amazing amount of detail. And the more you actually look, the more you see. So there's like frames with like the school in it in some of the houses. There's little flower pots. And pretty yeah, I just noticed like on Greenwood's bank that they've actually they've actually put the little steps going up into the bank. So it's not just one slab of foam. You've actually got like the steps and love wizards Weasley <laughs> Weasley's wizard Weasley because this is just so cool. This is such a fun little addition to it. Yeah, I love that. That's so cool. The instructions are really easy to follow. I just realised there's like a little flower pot in the back of here. I previously said that. If you're listening to me. So as I was saying, the instructions are really... What is she doing? I'm the instructions so interested. Are there's really so many things in here. Easy to follow. But they... Like, there's like, like a flower pot on every level. I'm kidding me right now. But... Okay, thank you there's for loads of flower pots in here. Why is there flower pots? In his She's one being shot. mesmerized by the flower Look, pot, guys. There's a flower pot behind this window and there's a flower pot behind that window. So as I was saying, the instructions are really easy to follow, oh. but some sorry. Some <laughs> points I just found it. Yeah. Some points are a bit fiddly. So I think especially which is really weird. I think this house for me was the hardest. Really? And I feel like it should have been this house, but it wasn't, it was this house. We absolutely adore all these houses. And we're now gonna pick favourites. Are we? Okay. So, I just mean, are we? Oh, yeah, I know we are. <laughs> so, my favourite is definitely this purple one. I don't. This, this purple one has a name, guys, by the way. This purple one is called the Quidditch. The right. quality, I can't remember. Quality uh. Quidditch supplies. I absolutely love this one. But I think it's good. It's just like, it kind of looks like a cottage, but it's not a cottage. It's I know what like you mean. A cottagey yeah. feel to it. And like the insides all look brown and woody yeah. and I absolutely love that. I love this one. This isn't my favourite though, but I love the inside. It's so colourful and like it's really hard to focus on the things that you're looking at in that one. I think this would be one of the ones that I would say is literally exactly like in, yeah, like in the yeah. film. This is like spot on exact. I really like the Gringotts Bank, of course, because you have the Massive Dragon on top yeah, of it. Yeah, that's my second favourite. Which is really nice. <laughs> but I think my favourite is actually Mr. Ollivander's one shop and I've no idea why. That looks like I think I love house. the front because it's got all like the bay windows, it's got Hagrid's down outside, it's really like detailed. But then when you go inside, I don't know, like all of the like the curtains like pop out and you've got like the little the little like lanterns in the window, so you get like that depth in this one because there's like different layers. I just think it looks so good. This looks like a house that I would live in. <laughs> just <laughs> without guys, mind, without Rose wands. leaving here, she's going to live in Harry Potter's world. This yeah. is her house now. I'm living in I'm here. Gonna visit her. I will never run out of wands. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, University Games, for sending these to us. We absolutely love them, and they're all going in my room. Okay. <laughs> what? Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Look, you can see there's even chain marks on the dragon's neck. This glow. Poor dragon. This glow in here. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. You can literally see all... There is so many wands. <laughs>